This episode of j to Apple is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. Hey guys, it's Justin here, and today I'm going to bring you guys a room and video production setup tour. Some of you may know that back at 20k subs, I did a special video showing you guys my office setup, and in that video, I did promise you guys that I will bring you a room tour as well as a video production setup tour where I film all my videos. Well, many months have passed and I finally got around to it, but I have to say there really wasn't much interesting going on in my room until just the past few months, which I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. And like always, I will always try to have all the links to the products seen in this video in the description section below. And I do also want to say that I use my own money to purchase the stuff like the TV, the game consoles, the camera equipment, the lenses I use in my videos, and also some of the computers. So in general, I do buy the stuff I have. So first off, I have an Insignia 40 inch TV. I did pick this up at an amazing price of $289. There is also LED strip lights going along the back. However, they don't work at the moment, so I do have to figure that out. I also have a thing that kind of hides the cables and I painted it with the original paint of the house. So I definitely think that does a very good job in hiding the cables of the TV. And some of the games I have for my Xbox One are Madden, FIFA, NBA, and of course, Forza 5, a game that I feel that every Xbox One owner should at least give it a try as the graphics do look very, very good. Currently for my PlayStation 4, I do have Battlefield 4 and I do plan on getting all the sports games and that kind of stuff for the Xbox and the first person shooters and role playing games for the PS4. On the floor, I also have my PlayStation 3 and currently I do not use that, but I do plan on trying to find a use for it with some games like NHL 14. And on the other side, on the floor, you've got a paper shredder. I do use that quite often. I've actually jammed it quite a few times. And also the Johnny Ive book on top of my first tripod, which was a garbage can, as well as my battery pack with a few cables lying around there. On the corner you've got another trash can and also a Herschel bag that I purchased on Boxing Day for a very good price. And if you haven't noticed already, I'm a huge hockey fan. My room is full of all these posters of the Vancouver Canucks. So let me know if you're a hockey fan down in the comment section as well. Now moving on to my video production setup, I do get a lot of questions about my lights and what I use is a set of Inspiron softboxes. I have been using these for quite a while now and what they do is give you individual settings for all five of the lights that are inside it. Most of the time I have all of them on and these sent me back at just about $200 for the kit. The main DSLR I use is the Canon 6D. It is a full frame DSLR and I actually got a huge steal on this. It was pretty much brand new and I also use it with the 24 to 105 millimeter lens. I also have the pocket dolly from Kessler. It is not cheap, but it definitely does serve me well and I have been using it for a few months now. As for the heads, I have my Canon 6D sitting on the 701 HDV from Manfrotto and also below that is the 502 which is just a little bit sturdier, able to hold a little bit more weight and stability while the 702 is just very easy to control, it's light and it is a little bit cheaper. For the legs, I use the 055 legs and these will be linked in the description like I said with all the things in this video. And for those who follow me over on Twitter, you may know that I recently just purchased the Canon EOS 70D, which does have the full-time autofocus in video. I also grabbed a Sigma 18-35mm f1.8 lens and I'm definitely having a lot of fun using that at the moment with the autofocus, and that is what I'm using to record this video. I'll primarily be using this only for news and face-to-face -face videos in the future. Moving on, you got my backup setup. I do edit on a MacBook Pro 2011 in my other room if you saw my office tour. However, I do also have a backup computer that I just purchased from a friend for a very good price just a few years ago. It is a 2010 with Core 2 Duo, 2 gigs of RAM. It isn't really like fast for video editing, but for web browsing and word processing and stuff that I do at school, it is actually very, very good. At least a step up from these school computers. And in these drawers and this cupboard, there's just a whole bunch of random crap, cables, um, just stuff like that. Nothing much. I'm sure everyone has a drawer like that. And there's just my first Canucks jersey that I got back in grade 5. So now we're going to move on to the other side. You can see there's just a whole bunch of random water bottles sitting around for and from hockey, a lot of which are the Gatorade ones. And you see I have a Canucks poster there as well. I do play in goal, and I definitely love hockey. It is pretty much the only sport I like or play. 
And just looking at the drawer below that, you have my GoPro. I really like this case I purchased. I did get it on Amazon. And looking towards my closet, of course you have my clothes uniform there. And on the top you have my box for the Canon 6D, the Manfrotto 502 head box, which is absolutely huge. These box for my 701 and also the iPad that my dad has, my mom has, and my iPad mini. Below you have a whole bunch of random products that I've reviewed in the past. Um, there you can see my Xbox One box, PS4 box, and there's just some small accessories, cases, phone boxes, and currently I don't have many phones. I actually got rid of most of my Galaxy phones, but I definitely hope to purchase some more phones in general this year. And there's just a whole box of cases, a lot of which I've tried to just give them away around at school and just get rid of them in general, as I, at one point I did have lots. Before we head out, let's take one last look at our sponsor. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. They're constantly trying to improve their platform with new features, new designs, and even better support. They already have very beautiful designs for you to start with and all the style options you need to create a unique website for you or your business. And they also have an amazing support team that works 24 hours a day, 7 days a week in the event you need help. Every design also includes a unique mobile experience that matches the overall style of your website so your content will look great on every device, every time. The plans start at just $8 a month and it even includes a free domain name if you sign up for a year. For Jade to Gabble viewers, head over to the link to start your free trial now, no credit card required, and if you would like a discount on your first purchase, please use the coupon code in the description. So now let's fly over to my office. You may have seen a few years ago if you follow me from my first channel, my setup was extremely basic but it just seems like one thing after another and it's slowly built up. I'm definitely very used to two displays. There's just my big Apple history poster and I used a calculator to cover an old intercom in the back and also a whiteboard for sketching out some ideas. But there's my MacBook Pro. It is about three years old just about this month. And there's also my Xbox 360 which I still play the most with any NHL 14 of course. So I guess I have all the gaming consoles but I'm not really the biggest gamer out there. I'm more of just a hobbyist and play with them when friends are over or something. But this is my office and I did do a tour of it in an earlier video which I will link in the description section as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did. And all the links to the products will be in the description section like I said. And I'll see you guys in the next one.